Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. In this uh, video, I am going to show you how we can create an assembly file in a different manner. So this is my second part of the video. So if you have not uh, seen my first video, you can just click on I button on the right side of the uh, top top right side of the window so that you can go to the my first video and watch it and come back to the second video. So in this video, what I will do is suppose if you are already having a, uh, one component which is a child component i want to create an assembly for that how we can able to create so before uh, starting what i will do is i will just open a child component so this is my child component so i'll open the child component as you can see here this is a uh, an, uh, single file here over here in the assembly navigator this is not an assembly file so in order to create an assembly file for this child component you have to go to assembly and you can go to create a new parent you can see here create new parent so this will create a new parent for this uh, part so as soon as you create uh, as soon as you create an, uh, a new parent so this window will open you can directly uh, navigate into the folder where you want to save the uh, components and uh, now you can give the assembly name so i will just give after assembly the same uh, name which I uh, used in the previous uh, tutorial so click ok so now as you can see here for this body uh, the parent the parent assembly file is created so you know uh, suppose if you want to create any new file inside this uh, assembly folder uh, assembly workbench you can go to create new and this will take you to the same uh, window where you can select a uh, either a model or an assembly a model will be having a, a individual component and assembly uh, will be having a multiple components inside suppose if you want to create a model you can just uh, go to create a model and you can just give the name as a cover and click ok this will create a uh, component inside this motor assembly name is already existing so we'll just give motor 1 and uh, this is a very important guys so defining object suppose if you have any objects here which you want to add into uh, this new file you can just select them and uh, you can add it to them I since I don't have any components here uh, or any objects here over here uh, before going to the do that I'll just show you how that works so what I will do is uh, my motor assembly is activated so now what I will do is uh, I'll just uh, draw in a 3d uh, arcs or any lines okay this is my 3d sorry this is my 3d line as well as this is my arc okay to cancel okay as you can see here uh, i have created these uh, line and arc inside this uh, motor assembly it's not inside the component it is in the assembly file if you go to the part navigator you can see the arc and lines here so suppose you want to create a new uh, model inside this motor assembly which is having uh, these lines and arcs so in that case what you have to do is we have to go to assemblies and uh, create new okay you can give the model as a cover one click ok so this will ask you the object of which you want to add so, so you can select these objects so these two uh, objects will be selected and reference it uh, as i already told you these uh, these things are a uh, little complicated in order to understand this you need to uh, in order to understand this you need to work with the assembly so i'm not going to explain this uh, now so these are the components i have added into a, a new so click ok as soon as you click ok uh, you can see uh, these components will be inside the this cover uh, they will not be available inside this um, motor assembly if you want to edit this you can just uh, double click and then it will be available in your uh, work, uh, sorry in your uh, part navigator so this is how this uh, create uh, new and create new parent uh, works guys so now what i will do is i will just uh, explain you how to find any component inside this uh, uh, assembly workbench suppose if you have around more than thousands of uh, 
child components uh, which are uh, related to this motor assembly so in that case it is very difficult for you to find out any component which you know the name or any part number so in that case what you can do is uh, if it is simple component uh, then uh, uh, simple components you know the name then you can directly right click on this uh, empty space you can see the find component here you can directly go here and you can type or suppose for example i will type body now because body is existing so you can click ok and uh, it will be highlighted uh, uh, sorry guys you you have to go to find guys uh, find component and uh, body as soon as you uh, type the body uh, ok or apply will not be highlighted you know to click enter so as soon as you, uh, you click enter it will uh, the assembly is very big then it will take some time to uh, search the component and if this that is existing it will uh, highlight that and you can click ok and uh, whatever you want you can delete or you can modify uh, you can do whatever with, um, you wish with this component so either you can click here for the find component or else you can click on this as well for the find component so if you know any part name or uh, part uh, uh, component uh, number you can directly search go to find component and you can easily find it here if you don't know that you can directly go to find component here and then you can type the by name by using by their name uh, or uh, you can state is here all components or only loaded components or work part inside the work part so you can directly uh, go here and there are many filter options as by by size uh, either it is a smaller size or a larger size you can select the size as well so using these many filters you can able to find out the uh, component uh, which are inside the assembly Uh, now what i will do is i'll just explain this uh, columns over here you can see here uh, there is a info and read and write only and modified count and uh, this is the reference set if you want to add uh, many more number of columns you can directly right click here and you can go to columns you can choose any of this so position or any other things you can directly uh, select here layers which layer it is the reference set out alerts multi cat files out of date which is not an updated uh, these things you can uh, directly select here and if you go to configure uh, you can move it up and down uh, in order to make it uh, uh, column uh, uh, to visible you can directly move them uh, top and uh, bottom click ok and uh, this will be shorted accordingly uh, this will be very helpful guys and uh, suppose you want to uh, you have a, a bigger assembly and you want to know the component uh, you can directly go to preview here it will uh, show you what what is the component since this is an uh, 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 not a 3d model it is just an arc and uh, a line so it is not showing so if it is a body like this uh, it will be shown uh, you can directly uh, identify the component of which what it is and now we have here uh, the constraint navigator where all the constraint will be available of which uh, the constraint will be given between the components so that you can directly come here and uh, you can able to delete these these things i am going to explain uh, each and everything in my next tutorial and uh, this is the part navigator suppose if uh, any part is uh, uh, in the work for uh, activated so you can see the uh, normal uh, using the part modeling features over here so so uh, this is all about the find component and the create new component uh, tutorial guys please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos uh, i'll be explaining each and every uh, tutorial uh, in my next uh, i'll be explaining each and every commands inside the assemblies uh, in the next upcoming tutorials thank you guys Please subscribe to my channel.